Fox Business Studios in New York, here again is Jerry Willis. Well, all too often, people take a fall on their way up the ladder in life, and last night's Oscars were no exception. Jennifer Lawrence and her win for Silver Linings Playbook was briefly upstaged by her tumble into, up the stairs to receive her award for Best Actress. You're looking at it there. That was scary. Now, did you see the gentleman, Hugh Jackman, jump up and try to help her? He comes in from the right here. Meanwhile, the actress couldn't have played it off any better. Listen to this. You guys are just standing up because you feel bad that I fell, and that's really embarrassing, but thank you. This is nuts. That's some poise right there. Well, we're bringing in an all-star panel to break down the very latest women's headlines. Gretchen Hamill is the executive director for Public Notice. Celia Bigelow is a Breitbart News contributor. And Elle Kaplan is founding partner and CEO of Lexian Capital Management. Welcome to you all. Great to have you here. Uh, Gretchen, I'm going to start with you. I, I just thought this was so interesting because I thought she, I think she's only 23 years old, Jennifer Lawrence. She handled yeah. this with such poise. Is it because she's just young and doesn't know what it possibly could mean, or is she just that smart? You know, she's lighthearted. I mean, she always has fun. You saw her and Bradley Cooper on the red carpet last night. They were having a lot of fun. She's living in the moment. And you know what? If there's anyone who's going to have every girl's worst nightmare happen, and that's falling when you're going up a, up a set of stairs, it's her. And she played it off well and looked so great at the same time. Celia, I thought this was interesting because... This really showed the character of the men who were in that front row. If you jumped mm -hmm. up, what a chivalrous kind of action to take, right? What did you make of that? Well, absolutely. And it, this just, last night kind of proves that no matter what people think or contrary to popular belief, uh, feminism isn't really having that much of an impact in Hollywood based on, <laughs> based on last night's actions of Hugh Jackman, God bless him. But chivalry isn't dead. No, it's, it's not nice. going to be dead. That's a it's, real it's human nice. reaction, right? Exactly. Boy or girl or absolutely. whatever, right? Absolutely. If a man fell down right in front of me, God, God bless him, I'd reach out and help him. No matter what, chivalry is not going to be dead. No matter what feminists want to believe or what they wish for, it's just L not going to I mean, is this about feminism or is what's this about, do you think? This is common courtesy. If, if someone trips, it's kind to help yeah. them. Right, I can see that. And, and I, I do think it speaks well of the men who got up, though. Oh, most because it definitely. Just, it just means they were, they were in the moment, they were thinking about what was going on, and they were willing to extend that. It was very sweet. It was very sweet. Liked it. And I had to show it today. All right. I also <laughs> want to talk about Sheryl Sandberg. Uh, there are questions about her at Facebook. Is she going to leave? There's possibility that she's going to start a whole new life, helping women get into the workforce. Um, I'll, I'll start with you. Uh, what do you make of this? And is this a surprise? It's not a surprise. She's written this book, Lean In, and it's poised to be an international bestseller. On top of that, she started um, the beginning of what's going to be a movement online of, in, of lean in courses and networks and circles to really engage women and get them to lean into their ambition and to lean into their careers. I want to read a quote from that book. She says, I believe that if more women lean in, we can change the power structure of our world and expand opportunities for all. More female leadership will lead to fair treatment for all women. Gretch, do you believe that's right? Do you think women yeah. leaders are, are better in their souls than men? Uh, of course. Hello. <laughs> um, I don't know if I agree with I that. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, you know, I, I don't know if I agree with that either, but I think, you know, every good leader, you know, despite whether they're a man or woman, you know, has some traits and some qualities that they, that, that they share with others that, you know, have them follow them. But Sheryl Sandberg has been doing this for a long time. She's had, she started the dinners in Silicon Valley trying to get all the women together. This is nothing new for her. She's taking it to a whole nother level and I think it's great. I mean, let's not forget she was in part of politics back in the Clinton days. She could she be coming could back right in. She could right back to that. She could. And I mean, she's a big um, pro free trade person. She she has a lot of qualities and a leader that I think we would like to see back here in Washington. Yeah, it, she's an interesting character, that's for sure. Celia, I want to ask you this question because despite all, all, all the things women have done and all the progress we've seen, which is pretty darn substantial if you ask me, we still can't seem to crack into that CEO suite. It's still a problem. Why do you think that is and will it change, you know, as you get older and grow up and you're the youngest person on our panel, so I got to ask you this question. <laughs> Well, I think it's a matter, I think the book, to be honest, is based more on emotion of women in the workforce rather than actual fact. But the huh. fact of the matter is that 
women t uh, choose to work less hours than men in the workforce, which is why we see that women make substantially less than men in, in the workforce. But the Washington, uh, the um, Wall Street Journal had a great article on this last year that women choose to work less hours than men. So I think if women stride to put more effort into their careers or choose to have a stronger career path, then we will see more women Elle, CEOs emerging. is it a question emerging. of not working hard enough? <laughs> no. <laughs> women work very hard. Women work <laughs> just work as hard as men. They, they, they and as a woman hard. who's had a career they on Wall choose. Street, they I choose. know that we're there right, right, putting chance. in the same number of hours and working just as hard. So you know, I, I think, think she was very curious. What stands in the way, though? Why, why is it that there aren't, there's not 50-50 in, in the CEO office? <laughs> it, I, I don't know. I think it's every particularly day, true in your business. Yes, there are no female CEOs of any major banks. Um, we're lacking in the C-suite in finance. I wanted a C-suite position, so I went out and created Lexion well, Capital. Well, that's what a lot of people do when they get frustrated. So yeah, yeah. I'm going to come back to you and give you a chance to to respond. Thank you. <laughs> Go right well, ahead. the fact of the matter, the fact of the matter is, if we go back and look at this Wall Street Journal article, and women have polled saying that they choose to work either part time or less hours than men. I do think that if we see more women choosing to take a stronger career path, that we will see more women CEOs emerging. I definitely. I, I think that you know, often that. women take time out to have kids, right, Gretchen? That happens yes, a lot. Yeah. But and I also think there's the something else Journal going on here. And I, Gretchen, I want to hear what you have to say about this. You, you know, know I think at the very time. top levels of industry, people choose people to run companies because they're comfortable mm -hmm. with them. Yeah. Not necessarily because they're b the best person in the room. So men yeah, choose well, men because they know what to expect. Exactly. It's what they're comfortable with. And I think this all takes time, right? So women are still earning um, and trying to work their way up the ladder. I think you see more women doing more things, being a part of more boards than they've been a part of. You see more women in the Senate. This takes time. Is it, is it right? No. But, you know, we're on a metric based system you know if you if you earn it and you work for it then you will get there and I think it's all about time and women are earning earning their way up that ladder I don't feel like I'm being held back I gotta tell you guys you guys Absolutely. feel like you're being held back for any reason no no I, I certainly would love to see more women on Wall Street and more women in powerful positions on Wall Street women are still earning 77 cents for every dollar a man earns so I think you know of, of the fortune 500 CEOs, can be but, but, yes of 500 fortune 500 women, CEOs 21 are female why right. is 21 that's, that's, close only because, out here. that's only because women choose to work less hours actually if you you know work, I can't wait till you work it younger women saying that younger younger women younger women actually do make more than men they do and that's yes. because they're entering the workforce and She's they're right they're actually that. earning more than there's men. a whole different and generational the, the issue matter, going on yeah it, Celia, it you come back, we'll talk off. about that too. It drops off. <laughs> really appreciate you guys coming on and, and being Thank so you. open with your, your views. I really appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Thank Great you. job. Thank you. Thank All right. You.